Hey the YouTube, Gun Dude 73 making a gear review. This time we are looking at a Fisher Space Pen. In particular, we're looking at the matte black Fisher Space Pen Bullet. Now, um, the Fisher Space Pen, in my opinion, is one of the better pens in the market. They are USA made in Nevada. And, um, you know, the cool thing about them is obviously that uh, they are designed, they were originally designed to write in space. You know, the funny thing is people will say, oh, it cost like $4 million at the time to design that. You know, why didn't they just use a pencil? You know, and the reason why, from what I could, my research, is that when you're in zero gravity and you're in a little contained spaceship, obviously the air is being scrubbed and cleaned by filters. You're not really getting any new air from around you like you would say on Earth. You know, you take a breath of air and you exhale and you take a new breath of air. It's different air. It's not the same air being you know, cleanse or whatever. So in space what will happen if you're, if you're using a graphite pencil, little small shavings of graphite will come off as you're writing and those stay in the air because the air can't go anywhere and it'll, I think, either damage the filters that the air uh, thing is using and it'll also damage your lungs. So, so the Russians, you can tell at the time, they really didn't care. They wanted cheap, cheap, cheap. So uh, Americans, you know, they valued the space astronaut's life you know, so they didn't want to put them in any more risk than they had to. So they designed a very expensive pen. And uh, we can reap the benefits of that expensive project with the Fisher Space Pen. Now, as they advertise here, it writes underwater at any angle, upside down, over grease, in extreme temperatures. Now, the reason, the other cool thing that I like this pen, the reason that I like and I bought it, is um, the Fisher Space Pen insert is under pressure. So as I'm going to show you really quickly, the insert for this is, I believe, brass. And on the end here is capped off, and it's under pressure. And the ink is actually thicker, more viscous than your general pen ink. But since this is under pressure, what will happen is um, it won't dry out. They say that this knife, this knife, sorry, so used to my knife videos, this pen is, the refill will not dry out for a century. That's what they claim. Now, obviously, I can't wait around to see, but, um, you know, I, I take their word on it. They probably did some calculations there. So, the Bullet is one of Fisher's best-selling pens, and I can see why. It's very compact. You know, it's uh, just a quick reference of size here. This is Spartaco Military. I'd say it's less than four inches closed, maybe three and three-quarters inches closed. But when you open it up and put the cap on the back, it's comfortably sized. You can see in my large hands it fits very well. Now, um, there's no grip on this knife. <laughs> knife, there I go again. There's no grip up here on this, uh, on the pen body itself. And um, so it is a little slippery. And one of my major complaints is it will roll away, as you can see. So you got to watch that. They do make a pocket clip, but it doesn't stay on very well, so I didn't even bother. The uh, cap is held on by this O-ring right here, and um, this is the actual pen body itself, so this is what actually writes. Very tiny, as you can see. And um, I like this pen just because it's small, it's compact, it's solid, has a lifetime warranty, and uh, it's USA made. It'll write in most any conditions. Like, I EDC a pen, you know, it's in my pocket all the time, and um, I honestly don't have to write very much. You know, that's a little admonition there. I do not, admission I should say, I don't write a whole lot. You know, it's more of a, an emergency thing. I mean, um, just a quick example. I was somewhere, I don't remember where exactly, and this one person had this uh, health issue. They were having a, some kind of issue with their heart. And there's a doctor there, and he needed to write something down. He didn't have a pen, and I'm thinking, oh, I got a pen. And I pull out my pen, it was a Bic or something, and it had dried out. It wouldn't work. So... That would not happen with this. This would, in fact, work. And another reason I like it is because if you pair it up with a Write in the Rain notepad, this is an all-weather notepad that uh, the paper is waterproof, so you could write, you could write in the rain with this, and it would stick and work, and everything would be honky dory. So, I mean, in terms of price, I guess that's the only downside is that most people consider pens a very disposable item. You know, they're not willing to spend a whole lot of money. They'll say, oh, well, for a dollar I can go and buy ten pens, you know, why should I pay roughly $25 for this? Well, 
it boils down to what you like in life. If you like disposable items, then go ahead and buy that pen, the cheapy pen. Don't be surprised if it uh, fails on you or if it dries out when you need it. If you absolutely rely on your pen, this is the way to go in my opinion. The inserts on this are like five bucks, I think. So I mean, it is costly for what it is, but you don't have to worry about it. You know, it is something that in my opinion is worth the money if that's what your occupation is. So if you're like a police officer and you need your pen to work all the time, I would, if I was a cop, I'd use this, you know, or a doctor or something, you know, but it's also nice if you have like an EDC type kit where you don't have to write very often, but you may have to write at some point, say a hit and run, you know, you need to take down a license plate number and your pen's been sitting in your car, let's just say for a year. If it's a standard pen, it's dry and you're SOL, you're out of luck. With the Fisher Space Pen here, you would be able to write it down and, uh, you know, catch that hit and run guy. You know, get his license plate number written down. So, I mean, that's sort of a hypothetical, but I could see it coming into play. Personally, I like it. It's in my EDC. I carry it with me everywhere. And, um, really, I mean, they make other pens, too, like the original. They make one that has a spaceship on it, and the pen itself, USA-made pen, that comes ready to write for eight bucks. So, I mean, this is a more mid-range item, but they do have things that are very inexpensive. So eight bucks for a pen with the insert, it's a good deal in my opinion. So, I hope you guys found that interesting. Um, highly recommended little gear item. I mean, a lot of the higher end pens out there, just off the top of my head, the Hinderer pens. Um, for the aluminum, for the Extreme Duty, it's 80 dollars and the two hundred dollars for the titanium version uses the exact same insert as this so for 25 bucks it will not write any differently it's just more tactical so i hope you guys found that interesting uh any questions feel free to ask and um thanks for watching appreciate the views see you in the next video bye